We now return to Let's Play Rogue State. The end of my second year approaches, and uh, I just secured some trade deals, which will boost my income a little bit more. Uh, what we're really waiting on, though, are the trade deals that I'm importing to come to an end so that I can get my full income back in power, and that will start pushing us towards my third year goal of building up the military, the intelligence agencies, getting my power solidified and secured so I can start looking at my neighbors in the region. Now, I'd looked at these unlockables before, um, one of which, of course, being the charmer, allowing me to flatter members of the opposite sex for extra bonuses. It's tempting to uh, try and bring back Babelistan by doing that and just unlocking it to see what it's like. I think, though, what I want to save up for some of these so that I can unlock those for, I don't know, potentially a future playthrough, if not on YouTube at least for myself. Um, I think Babelistan would probably be an ideal target. I don't imagine that they are terribly militaristic. We'll find that out once we start gathering intelligence, of course. But uh, I definitely think that they are the way to go because uh, they seem to be a little bit weaker than, say, Trajikistan. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and end the turn here. Let's hope that the next event doesn't completely screw the pooch. A much beloved striped hyena has been illegally killed by an overzealous American poacher who has since returned to the United States where we have no extradition rights. The death of Xena the hyena has captured the attention of the world and the people will be looking to see how Basenji will respond. Well, we can put out a bounty on the poacher's life, that's 10 mil. Also hurts my treasury and really only helps me with the patriots who I don't need help with. We can prohibit hunting Basenji while entering on a travel visa. Uh, that's good. We increase a little bit with the liberals. Uh, eulogy for the hyenas only patriots. Expand organized hunting program for tourists. That increases capitalist and GDP. That can help a lot. Now, I'm tempted though. I mean... Our liberal faction is now a quarter of the population, so it's not like we can just completely ignore them at this point. And I do kind of want to get them up a little bit. Um, the minister is soon, hopefully, going to be kicked out of office. Uh, instead of using my, my bonus points, my approval points, towards buying that tank, the first thing I think I'll do is buy the approval policy so I can kick him out, get someone who actually likes me, and then we'll just repurchase the lost approval uh, by cheating, basically. <laughs> In-game cheating. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get started, I guess, by getting a little bit of a boost with our, our environmental policy paper, Protectionism, prohibiting hunting in Basenji on a visa. Lowers uh, the American thing quite a bit. More people identifying as capitalists. I am now very interested to see how that changed, because they were already pretty damn big. Xena the Hyena, killed by a poacher. Glorious leader bans foreign hunting. Uh, economy a meaningful concern for today's Basenjis. Again, jobs and taxes. Basenjis preparing for heat wave. 51%! Holy crap! Wow. There is no room for religion in Basenji, apparently. But, uh, money, money, money. Okay, well, that's uh, that's definitely interesting to note. So, not really much is changing, as would be expected, I suppose, because we're not... Uh, look how much extra. 12 mil a turn now. Look how much extra I squeezed out just from the trade deals, because bear in mind, we're still spending a lot. Um, yeah, I guess the capitalists are continuing to love me. Fundamentalists, eh. I think he's slowly going up, might just be my imagination. We've banked 10, and uh, it's gonna be a while before we can get that. Let's go look at my my uh, budget here, because I'm very curious to see. It's uh, imports, yeah, imports are 36, but now I'm making more in exports, so it's all good. Tourism is fine because we don't have any risk of terrorist threats, and I think I probably also selected something that helped me out there. Um, this does mean that I can actually bump up a few of my policies. It'll increase my expenditures, of course, but 
It might be worth it. We're spending 7 mil on the armed forces. I don't know that I uh, had the option to do anything with that. I'm very tempted to raise taxes right now, but uh, I'm not sure we want to hurt on the jobs. The jobs seem to be a bit of an issue every time we get that paper. Uh, even though they shouldn't be, really, because... Well, actually, I don't have anything... I've, I've just got the free trade zone improving that. Let's see. It's just going to be one. So we'd get more support there, more... Oh, 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 uh oh. So the police are not doing enough to counteract crime. Well, and I also picked something that... Uh, Increase the crime, right? What did, what was that? It was one of those choices. It increased it a little bit too much. So, um, boy, if we lower that, we'll start getting some more fundamentalist approval. I think we can afford the capitalists. Um, I also wanted to bring this up. So we'll get that support up there. GDP, I don't understand why that's not really going up that much. So, is that all that does? Is it just... Crime is still a thing until we completely turn it off. I wonder what we could do there. We're really hurting on the capitalists, and again, it's not a good idea to do that, seeing as how they are now the largest faction, making up more than half the population. What does this do? Aside from just helping crime. Ah, well, yes, dummy. That would probably help, wouldn't it? Actually having sufficient... <laughs> funding going towards the crime, and I guess now we can do that. I, I hate taking that much money out of it, though, but we kind of do need to help out with the, the support issue. Uh, if we can turn this down now, that'll bring us back into balance. So now, voluntary prayer week. Businesses are penalized for failing to grant employee requests for a week of leave for prayer week, but are permitted to stay open. So it's now a, now a choice. And it doesn't hurt the GDP as much. Uh, so maybe that's something, is uh, by being over to the right, it was just having too much of an impact. So yes, crime. I'd love to go police state. It's going to hurt the liberals a little bit, but who cares, really? Uh, it wipes out corruption, but corruption doesn't seem to be a problem at the moment. So we won't worry about that. We just need to work on crime, because this lowers patriot and fundamentalist approval. So that's definitely something. And a stagnant economy. I mean, if we could get the GDP and crime back up, we'd be helping ourselves quite a bit there. Um, so we'll do that. Yeah, we'll just leave that as is. Uh, I mean, this, this would help the GDP. This is what helps the GDP. It says right there that it helps, but... Uh, it might be increasing too much crime. We need to bring that down. So, okay, we'll go with that. I mean, the, the death penalty would also probably help out, huh? That cost me nothing, except for approval with the liberals, but it gives me a huge patriotic boost. Um, and then that, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. So... Do we just go another another round, another turn? Maybe we can talk to some of our uh, our neighbors here. Thank you. Uh, they don't actually like that, right? I think we'll just call it quits there, because we. Apollo. Goodbye. Yeah, we are selling our things there. Okay. Well, I guess we just move on. A resolution is anticipated to be tabled at the United Nations General Assembly condemning Russia for their invasion of a neighboring state. You have been approached by the Russian ambassador, requesting you vote down this resolution. Doing so will put us out of alignment with our neighbors in the region. Yes, it does, but it increases with Russia. I'm very curious to see how much further we can push that, because there is no, no indication right now of our relations with Russia. We have no way of talking to the ambassador. Maybe if we bump Russia... I mean, the, the whole Russia thing uh, was just added in with one of the latest patches, so I've never seen anything about it. Um, so maybe if we get them high enough, they replace the U.S.? 
That would be interesting. Sure, let's vote against the resolution. Let's see what the Russians will do for me. Oh my god. Only a little bit on both of you, but Babelistan definitely did not like that. Ah, good, there we go. Minister Matala is pleased you were able to secure the approval of the Liberals, and I uh, completely forgot <laughs> that that was a thing. Uh, more people are now fundamentalists. Curious, let's go find out what that's about. UNGA condemns Russian aggression. Basenji votes against the resolution. Religious identity, a growing part of Basenji culture. A growing number of Basenjis identify with the old ways. And slow news season extended three months. Nothing matters, says nihilist journalists. Okay, so they're back and expanding, and they're pushing against the liberals. Patriots are also starting to disappear. Hmm. Everyone's all about the Benjamins. Let's, uh... Let's... Go look over here. Right. I, need, I wanted to go see what, uh... What Matala... Now he's back up to 43. We might be able to leave you in here. 20% loyalty? Oh, well, hell, there we go. Is that loyal? Uh, I guess that's just loyalty with them. Okay. Parliamentary loyalty improved. Maybe that was loyalty here for loyalty points. Anyway, uh, I have enough to buy a Babelistani newspaper editorial and get them bumped up. But, like I said, what I was hoping to save that for was the honorary degree. Um, however, if Matala is going to get on board now, we might be okay with what we've got. We do have 50 mil at the moment. Um, it's tempting now to go into, say, a national defense doctrine and start pushing towards intelligence. Uh, the thing about that is that if I bought that right now, I would be severely draining my funds, and what if the next turn's event is uh, a bit of an issue? We could do the American Hotel. That would give me three mil a turn from tourism, basically offsetting the five mil that this costs, so I'd be lowering myself two mil for no reason. Capitalist approval, U.S. relations. Really what I would be going towards, though, is the global shipping giant. This would give me plus to my GDP, as well as giving me overall... Um, the, the, what was that, 8 mil? Because it would cost 10, 13, 2? 5? I don't do math. 8 mil. I do math! Yeah, so maybe we need to buy these together, basically. Otherwise, this is just a drain. Uh, so we'll do that. I guess I'll hang on to the money. Although, damn, I... I really want to start moving down this. The sooner we get to this, the sooner I'll be able to actually start building the military. We're we're approaching the third year, and the third year is when that needs to happen. As part of my five-year plan, year three is the military. So if I look at it from buying 100 points worth, we would get to here after 100 points worth. However, after 100 points worth, we would also be getting an extra 8 mil. Okay, I guess we'll just wait. We'll wait until I get the trade agreements done. We'll get my huge, I mean, it'll be huge. It'll be like 50 mil a turn. We'll be able to just pop these one after the other. Okay, okay, that's what we'll do. That's how we'll take this. Let's uh, talk to both of you again. Sorry, we didn't mean it. Although I don't know why they, I mean, they didn't, they don't like the West, right? We have nothing to discuss. Um, could we talk, maybe? We should probably talk to uh, America. Again, we don't want them prematurely invading me. I have no military. I have no defense. Maybe we can eventually talk to someone about Russia. I don't think any of those are going to go over well. Uh, or, well, maybe this one would. No, 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 no. Oh, no, it was, it was the one that said, uh, we must keep it out of politics. So, talking about this, let's try this one. Just see. 
spiritual leadership is important, but we must also accept that literal interpretations of the old ways do not make sense in this day and age. Truly, we are all seeking a gentle balance between the old ways and the demands of this era. We cannot turn to faith for guidance in all matters. No good. That was positive. You can tell by his face. Okay. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. Well, that went over well. Bumped us up a little bit. That's good. Because he is one of our purchasers, correct? I believe so. Babella Stan, how you doing? Maybe maybe I really do need that perk. For taking my call. I just, uh, I could get the joke perk and the, uh, the charmer perk, and we could just tell jokes and, uh, yeah, this doesn't, I don't think we want to do this one, right? Because the Babelistan is the really religious state. Yeah, okay. Apologies. Goodbye. A species of desert rodent found only in Basenji has just been added to the United Nations Endangered Species List. Spare no expense to repopulate the species. We would gain approval with the United Nations as well as patriots. Uh, otherwise we go down with pretty much everybody. Okay, well, 10 mil is 10 mil. We're almost making that back. Unfortunately, that's putting us behind 10 mil. Okay, repopulate the species. Damn it. Yeah, I really, uh... I don't know that that was the wisest choice, to be honest. Thank you. It is. Uh, let's just continue to. Ex I am now that uh, I, I, that's really all we can do. I mean, I there I hope. now that we've we've gone over to Russia's side, they're not too happy with me. Nothing would help out. Here we go. Importing, importing, importing expired. Um, Minister Sidan requests you purchase two new warplanes within the next three turns. <laughs> ah, right. Right, sure you do. Sure you do. Those are 200 apiece. Yeah, 200 apiece. It's going to cost me 10 in upkeep. Now, when I flip over the next turn, all these trade agreements will flip into my new uh, my new income. However, I don't think even at 50 a turn, I definitely wouldn't be able in three turns because next turn would count as one. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to do this, so that's upsetting. Uh, how does he feel about me? I mean, I, I would love to have a couple warplanes, believe me, but... Yeah. He's a fundamentalist in charge of the, the military. It would be good. Can't do it. Can't, unfortunately. 47, so it's the next turn we'll be able to buy an approval from somebody, but uh, at the same time, we might just want to go straight to the tank. Uh, because everyone else... I Although I am tempted to, to buy the Liberals' approval just to get them over that 80. Maybe just get rid of Matala here. Get someone more on my side. They are going up. I mean, they're going three. Capitalists haven't gone anywhere. What have I done to my policies that the capitalists didn't go anywhere? Just the negative. Oh, because all, all of my uh, all of my things fell apart, didn't they? Right. Uh, how badly can we hurt them? Ah, we can prohibit unions. That hurts labor. We don't need to to deal more damage to our labor rights at the moment, though. Although, when labor rights go down, it does increase approval amongst the capitalists. I think maybe because I swap these around, this is going to count as a turn. Can I bring labor rights up? I can bring labor rights up that way. Jobs are kind of hurting. So I could do this and this. That still gives me a negative. Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll just take that back to where it is. No sense in causing ourselves more problems if the outcome is going to be the same, right? Okay, so that didn't count as a turn. That's good. Let's go look at the newspaper. Dune Mouse, now endangered. Glorious leader forces breeding at gunpoint. 
Trajikistan warms to Basenji. Leaders discuss issues. Good, good. Now we don't have to worry about Trajikistan coming in and trying to invade me. Haima to implement highway mobile phone free lanes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's go uh, look at this again. I've got the tank on the border of B uh, Babelistan, yeah. I wonder if moving that would help out. I think we're fine. We'll just leave it as is. Another uh, another empty turn. I might be able to take this episode all the way to the end of the year. How are you? Uh, how are you feeling there, Tariq? State finances are still an issue. Yeah, yeah, but not anymore. Next turn they should be pretty damn good. Oh, no, I didn't want to click on you again. So he's just telling me that because of the negative one on my policies, I guess. Maybe. I mean, they're still going up, but whatever. Okay. Well, uh, we'll just uh, we'll just take that in stride. Um, I had fifty-six. I don't remember. I thought I had more than that. Fundamentalist clerics are calling upon the government to ban immodest Western haircuts. If you agree, ponytails, spikes, mohawks, and brightly colored dyes would be prohibited. Uh, that would increase... That would lower my tourism. Right now we're kind of relying on the tourism. That's not a great thing. Uh, this will hurt fundamentalists a little bit. We don't really need to worry about that. Let's go ahead and just deny the request. We don't need to go that backwards. And fundamentalists are, like, the smallest faction at the moment. 44 a turn. Ooh. Uh-oh. Basenji citizens are increasingly identifying as fundamentalists, and war has broken out between Bothia and Tajikistan. Uh-oh. That is a bit of an issue. So, uh, we do have options, and I haven't been clicking on these to try them, but uh, basically... Well, we can't really do much here. Uh, in order to get these guys to have peace with one another, we need a foreign service and a loyal foreign minister. We do have a positive relationship with Tajikistan. Uh, what would be possibly more important with them, however, would be uh, constructing an oil pipeline, where we would spend three mil a turn for six turns to build a pipeline, which will then provide me an extra five a turn when completed. The foreign minister loyalty must remain at 60 throughout the construction period. Um, armed conflict with Tajikistan will result in the destruction of this. So, right now, if we ever wanted that, uh, we would have to uh, have to stop this. Uh, or we could start exporting small arms and light weapons around the world. We need 650 or greater. No, six, 65 or greater is what that actually... They put that a little too close together. Um... It also improves relations with that, that ally. So, foreign minister, that is you, right? Yeah. We need to do something about you. Getting rid of you is the 20%. Oh, wait. Let's open that bank. Uh, we can now actually do this. Okay, let's just see how much this is. Just to test it now. We're now making 10 a turn on that anyway. We can start uh, building that up here pretty darn soon. I'm going to consider letting this ride maybe another turn. And then we can start buying a few things in preparation for the, the third. On the other hand, maybe I should just keep letting it build up until the end of the year. And then on year three, we can start making major purchases. I think that might be a better idea. Anyway, we need to get rid of a foreign minister who is not on my side. Um, it's going to take way too much effort to get him on my side. Thankfully, the capitalists are uh, giving me a good bonus there, but we need more. We need more. Because if they were all green, I'd be getting plus six. So, yeah. Um, so we'll fire you. This is going to lower them by 20. And do I not get a new foreign minister? I didn't know that was going to happen. So we'll buy the honorary degree from a prestigious university in Europe. And that raises me back to 66%. Yeah. Down 10. Down 10? 
Um, so, I hope next turn I'm allowed to pick someone new for my foreign minister, because if I just did that, I just borked myself pretty darn hard. Um, maybe that's how you do it. Maybe if you kick out all your ministers, that's what allows you to basically prevent the Constitution from being written and new elections being held, and that's how you get to be dictator after the five-year term. Maybe that's it. Either way, I'm not going to be happy with myself if I just kicked out one of my necessary ministers. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so that was one turn. You can't do much about the war here. Maybe we can talk to these guys. Thank you. Uh, nope, can't do anything there. And, uh, all we can really do is talk to Babelistan and hope that we get a topic that maybe boosts them up a little bit. Nope. Okay, okay, well, uh, damn. I don't think we have anything really important going on with them. Uh, we do have trade with both, though. That is the thing. Hopefully, having trade with both is not going to cause us an issue where we're going to be asked to decide to be on one side or the other. Bothia is also in poor relations with Babelistan at the moment. Uh, God, if there's a, a three-way war going on there, that's not going to be happy for us. I would love to get in on the, the Babelistan stuff. I mean, believe me on that, but gee, manese. We're not, we're not ready just yet. Um, now that I've got some... Yeah, he wanted me to do that by turn 23. Yeah, so he's going to go down as well. Um, that's an issue. So getting rid of the foreign minister, uh, the problem there was that the foreign minister was giving me a boost to faction approval. Uh, and without him, now we're going to be suffering from that. So let's find out how that affects us on the next turn. Damn it. The people are complaining about the high salaries and generous pensions being awarded to serving ministers while the government continues to cut public benefits. They see your government as corrupt and bloated, disconnected with the challenges of the average person. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, see, now, if I had been able to hang on to the minister, but it, this option, surprisingly, doesn't give me a boost to the ministers. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and cap ministerial salaries at current levels and index pensions to the rates offered to the public. Uh, we'll be okay with our capitalists. Not sure about... Ooh -hoo, ooh -hoo -hoo, that was a big one. There we go. Yay, good. Okay. We can have... Nope. We only have him. Let's see. Ah, so here's how you can swap out for your... Hmm. So, I think... No, I think it was the communications. Yeah, it was the communications, not the foreign guy. The communications was the one who was hurting us. So, Farouk, throughout the game so far, has been holding us back on our factions. That's why it's been so hard to get them raised up. Um, boost all foreign relations. Well, we need him. We need one in there who is going to help me be able to do trade deals, like the oil pipeline, um, or just stop the frickin' war. So we have to go foreign. Um, eventually, though, maybe picking a... I mean, who do we... What, what is your thing? Income? Oh, no, we, we, we need all of these right now. Uh, the military approval by two per turn? Ah, perhaps that's it. Maybe that's where all the military approval came from. We've been getting two per turn just from having Kareem in there. He's going to go down, though. He's going to go down. That's only going to affect the fundamentalists. It's not. I don't believe it will affect the military. Anyway, foreign minister is who we need. Being a capitalist, I'm hoping for good things here. I'm hoping that he will be highly approving and will get some good bonuses that way. Starts out at 50%, but I mean... Yeah, and then we lost that bonus there because of the dip in the approval, but that's okay. Uh, I'm hoping the next turn, when when all this happens, we're getting... Uh, we'll get him to go up and, and be on par with Mustafa here. Um, either way, all we really need is are these extra little bonuses, because the more of those bonuses, it all adds up to my loyalty points here, so... That's, uh, that's important. Okay. 
99%, 100%, 99%, 78%. We're very close to having liberals at the 80%, the crucial 80%. Now, uh, we got some money. We've got some money, I think. We'll go do that dump on the shipping so we can raise our GDP. We'll get an extra 8 mil a turn. We'll help with the capitalists who don't need it. We'll help with the US, which might need it. Um, yeah. Now, in theory, this this is how it should go, right? We get three extra mil from the tourism and 15 mil from capitalist approval, and then we spend 10 on that. So this should remain positive. It should go up to 50. If it doesn't, something has gone severely wrong, and I don't really understand why. Uh, but here we go. Oh, uh, so the American Hotel, we can have bugged rooms. Our agents will plant recording devices in hotel rooms to learn foreign secrets. That could be nice. Or, alternatively, we can have a five-star service in our hotel and get one extra mil a turn from tourism. We've got enough right now. I think we need to start focusing on getting intelligence because year three is right around the corner. So let's go for the bugged rooms in the hotels. And uh, we will also pick the global shipping giants. There we go. Okay, so the next turn, we should hopefully see that be a big... Why did that go down? Um, maybe it's factoring those in before it factors in the bonuses I'm getting? I would be upset if this actually stayed down that far. Um, okay, so there we go. That's that turn. Um, Tariq, what do you think about my income now? <laughs> Still, we need reserves. We need bigger reserves. Okay. Uh, international, I imagine that's all gone. And, and okay. So let's uh, read the newspaper. Review of ministerial benefits astound. Glorious leader takes aim at cutting perks. Basenji women march for pay equity. 14,000 appear in Haima. March for equal wages. In Haima to implement highway uh, again. Again with the mobile phones. Uh, fundamentalists are now actually growing. They are now larger than the Patriots and the Liberals. Interesting. Well, either way, it doesn't really matter because we're getting good approval from everybody, which is essential. Essential. Everybody is on board. So that's good. Uh, I, you know, I would hate to waste more turns doing what we're doing, but until the end of the year, I. I don't see how we can go anywhere else. I was thinking we'd reach the end of the year by this episode, but um, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to end this one here, and I will see you next time.